Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everybody. My name is Catherine. I am here to bring you clarity guidance and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy or with the person closest to you. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, click on the watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen or in the description box below. That will allow your energy to flow freely through this message, all the messages I bring on this channel. Any extended that I have cancer, the links will be in the description box below. And if you would like to request a personal reading with me, make sure that you send me an email request to queencancertarot at gmail.com. I do a giveaway on this channel every month. Check that information out on the community page or in the description box below. Um, you have to be subscribed in order to win. All right, I am doing a discount on all of the personal readings um, that I offer, everything that is above $15, of course, um, and $15 off for the rest of the month of November. All right, so send me an email if you would like to book your reading. Okay. So we are doing Cancer versus all 12. We went into a part two just for time's sake, Cancer, but I left this energy on the board, but we're gonna go ahead and officially, um, I wanna pull some Oracle. I did say I was gonna pull some Oracle. Let's, let's get, Like I said, this person is going through a little bit of un, a little bit of doubt, a little bit of doubt, Cancer, that you are not going to stand by them because of their financial status. Their financial status has changed, okay? And this person is concerned that you no longer or like they're they're concerned that they're not going to be able to take care of you cancer um or like they don't quite measure up to you anymore so we have enlightenment with enlightenment there is no separation we recognize that we are one with the divine okay so this talks about someone seeing something and realizing coming to a realization okay cancer and in this i feel like this is in a way someone recognizing that you know if you are really truly in a caring loving situation um you're not going to make your person feel any different if their financial status changes as long as your person is the same person, as long as your person is able um, and has that mindset cancer, it's a mindset. It's not necessarily about what's in a person's bank account, right? Um, and then we have trust. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So bottom line, you have to be able to trust that your person is going to remain the same person, money or no money, or, you know, whether you have that money or not. Rekindle. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled, okay? So every fire doesn't have to be lit everywhere all the time. Some things are going to dim out cancer. Some things are going to change. Finances are going to change. Um, weight stat weight is going to change. Um, your looks are going to change cancer. Okay. Things are going to change in every person in multiple different ways, multiple different times, multiple different times. So, you know, it's all about trust. You've got to have that baseline of 
trust in order for things to work out. So let's now, Cancer, look at the Energy Oracle, and then we're going to look at Cancer versus all 12. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about Cancer. Okay. All right. And then we have Blossoming Abundance number three, Cancer. Blossoming Abundance and Door to Value number 31, Cancer. Under the deck number four, Happy family that is like the four of wands this is a very beautiful energy cancer um i am seeing a lot of abundance coming in with door to value here cancer number 31 can be a significance to you or the number four seeing four twice um but i am seeing this person um feeling like you know, the value, like they're looking for something to come in, Cancer. They're looking for someone to um, value them or value what is already inside before you even open this door. It's like, is there any value in this connection with or without the money, right? And so here you go with Blossoming Abundance and um, Happy Family. This is an energy of things getting better, Cancer. I feel like finances are going to pick up and things are going to work out. But let's go ahead and look at Cancer versus all 12. One. Let's see. Go ahead and put these over here. All right. And we are going to use, what deck do I want to use? What deck do I want to use? Cancer. Let's use this deck here. All right, Cancer. Now we're going to run through these really quickly. Um, the timestamps will be in the description box below. All right, Cancer. Cancer versus all 12. All right, starting with Cancer. What is your person not saying? Or what is your person um, not telling you, Cancer? So there's something that your person is not saying. And we're going to find out. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer dealing with another cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. And that starts at 809, cancer. That is what I saw when I looked at the clock. Holy Spirit, okay. All righty. Well, well, well. All of these came out in the reverse, cancer. So we have judgment the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups all in the reverse. Judgment, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups all in the reverse. Cancer, there's an energy of somebody who is, um, they're in denial about something that they said that they were going to do. And this person did not come through like they said that they were. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Cancer. This is an energy of somebody who has um, missed an opportunity. Um, this is a bad investment, okay? Somebody who is um, being stingy. They're, they're not keeping their promises, okay? Um the Knight of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody who is, um, they say one thing and they do something else. Okay, they run hot and cold with their feelings and just passive aggressive cancer. You can't really believe what this person is saying. So there's an energy of somebody who, um, they told you one thing, cancer, and um, it's like they're doing something else. Okay, so... Let's move on to Scorpio. 
at 10. Again, this is a quickie, so don't get mad at me. I'm just running through these really quick, okay? Cancer is dealing with a Scorpio. Tell me what your person is not saying. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What is your person? Oh. So we have the death card in the reverse and the ten of cups. That is scorpionic energy all day long. Strong scorpionic energy here. Death card in the reverse and the ten of cups. And we have the star in the justice card here, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. We have a situation here. Somebody is holding on to a relationship that is no longer meant to be cancer. Okay? If you are dealing with a Scorpio, okay, this is you. Um, this person is not saying this to you. They are not telling you about this. But with the star and the justice card, Cancer, the divine is about to come in and reveal the truth. Okay? Um, the star, it talks about the divine. It talks about a light being shining in on a situation, Cancer giving somebody the divine guidance that they need. The justice card talks about truth, honesty, okay? Consequences, somebody getting their karma, cancer, justice, okay? So whatever it is the Scorpio isn't telling you, they may not be telling you, but the divine is getting ready to come in and reveal it. Okay, moving on to Pisces at 12.08. And you can look up the angel number, and we had number 10 for, for Scorpio. So look up the angel number 10, 1000, <laughs> or just the number 10. And for Pisces, it is 1208. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay, so we had the Knight of Pentacles uh, right there. Tell us about Cancer dealing with a Pisces. What is this person not saying? Okay, so we got quite a bit here. We got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Strength card and the Ace of Swords. Cancer. Okay, so first of all, this person is coming in and communicating um, that... You know, they have been patient and they have been patiently waiting, Cancer, and they are tired of waiting. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. The Ten of Pentacles represents family, somebody settling down, getting married, buying house, having kids, having a life together, Cancer. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this has been very, 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 very slow moving. Okay, with the Strength card, and the Ace of Swords, this person is coming in and telling you, look, they're running out of patience. They want to do the right thing, Cancer, but you're taking all day and a year. Okay? Taking all day and a year. Moving on to Gemini at 1357. Look up the angel number, 1357. Okay, moving on to Gemini. Cancers dealing with a Gemini. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer dealing with a Gemini, please. What is your person not saying, Cancer, dealing with a Gemini? Okay, alrighty. For some reason, I'm getting four cards tonight, Cancer, so I'm taking them. So I got the Four of Swords and the Emperor. Strong Gemini energy. And we have the Eight of Cups and the Strength card here. Okay. So, Cancer, if you are dealing with a Gemini, they are not telling you this, but they are not 
going anywhere. Okay. Um, no matter how hard it gets. Okay. No matter how difficult the road gets, this person is not going to leave. With the Four of Swords, Cancer, this represents someone being very quiet, not speaking. With the Emperor, though, this is an energy of somebody being very stable. Um, they're not moving. They're not going anywhere. They're stable. They're secure in one place, Cancer, and they are in rest mode here, okay? Not going anywhere. Eight of Cups, this represents a lot of emotional, um, overwhelming energy, okay? So this could just be an energy where there's a lot to deal with emotionally in this relationship. But again, with the Strength card here, it doesn't matter. This person is not going to leave. They are going to do what's best. They're going to do the right thing in the end, and they're going to stick around, Okay, moving on to Libra at 1610. Okay, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Look up the angel number 1610. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about Cancer and Libra. What is Libra not saying? Okay. All right, too many cards, Cancer. Uh, too many. Just too, just too many. I'm sorry. Tell us about Cancer and Libra, please. Holy Spirit, thank you so guys. Tell us about Cancer and Libra. What is Libra not saying to Cancer, please? Holy Spirit, thank you so guys. Okay. So we got the Magician and the lovers and we got the chariot in the reverse oh my goodness oh wow okay so you got three major arcana here cancer i had to pick up my wand for this one cancer this is a strong soul tie connection here. I feel like this person, this is a situation where you're manifesting with this person. Um, but with the chariot in the reverse, there's an energy of somebody who it's like they no longer are finding. It's like this person is no longer finding themselves happy in this situation um they no longer want to go in the same direction that you both wanted to go in when the relationship started okay this is like someone is now wanting to go and manifest on their own or just somewhere else cancer um this person hasn't said anything to you about it but that is the energy here okay sorry Moving on to Aquarius at 1835. Okay. I'm sorry, Cancer. Moving on. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Cancer dealing with an Aquarius, please. Tell me about Cancer dealing with an Aquarius, please. do that but it's okay I'll take five so we have and I'm glad that we did oh my god cancer if you are dealing with an Aquarius I'm gonna tell you right now this person and this could be a karmic this is somebody who is coming in wanting to start over again I feel like this person is about a bunch of confusion Cancer, I don't know that you can trust this person. You have the Seven of Cups here twice. Okay, now I'm done. So you have the High Priestess 
and the King of Wands, Cancer. There's some energy of this person not telling you, Cancer, but this person is coming in wanting to take control of a situation. I feel like this person is all kinds of confused. This person doesn't know what they want. This person doesn't know what they want. With the high priestess and the king of wands, though, there's an energy that this person has really been sitting back and watching you, Cancer. This is a very, very mysterious energy. The high priestess can come in two different ways here. Um, two different ways. This can be an energy of something that you don't know about. And I feel like that's more of where we're going here. Or this could be the divine. Okay. Um, in this case, with this king of wands here. I'm sorry, Cancer. I'm not really feeling too positive about this. It's like this is an energy of somebody who is getting ready to take a, um, make a very daring decision or they're going to take some bold action, but they're going to do it with you, without you knowing. Like you're going to be completely oblivious to it and you're not going to see it coming, Cancer. Seven of Cups twice, Cancer. So, just be mindful of this Aquarius, okay? Sorry, I took up so much time. 2202, okay, for Taurus. 2202. Look up the angel number. You can Google it, please. Google your angel number or put it in your search engine. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about cancer dealing with a Taurus, please. What is this Taurus not saying? Okay. So we got the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands. Told you these are coming out in fours, you guys. And we have the Star and the Eight of Swords. Cancer, if you are dealing with a Taurus, I grab my pen there. Somebody may be getting ready to um, send you a write a letter. Like you may receive a letter from this person, Cancer. Um, but again, with the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands, Cancer, there's an energy of some betrayal here. With the Three of Wands, Cancer, this talks about somebody who is looking to gain something. Um, but with that Nine of Swords sitting there, this is an energy of, you know, somebody having to betray you in order to get something. Okay. With that Star card in the Eight of Swords, though, Cancer, this is an energy of someone being... The divine stepping in and blocking this, okay? The divine is stepping in and blocking this. So you may not know this or this person may not tell you, but it's like they tried to gain off of you losing cancer, but the divine blocked this, okay? Somehow they were blocked by the divine, period, point blank, and they weren't able to proceed. Sorry, that's the energy there. Moving on to Virgo 2431. Virgo 2431. You guys tell me what these, these mean. Tell me what these angel numbers and what your messages how they are resonating with you in your situation tell me about virgo please 
Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Virgo and Cancer, please. What is this Virgo not saying to Cancer? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, okay. Now when I try to get three, there we go. So I got the Nine of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. We got a Schmidt ton of cups here, Cancer. A whole lot of cups, Cancer. 20 cups to be exact. You have 20 cups on the table here. With the Queen of Wands sitting under the deck here. Um, Cancer, with that Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Eight of Cups, I'm sorry, but I'm feeling this energy of somebody not really being satisfied, somebody always wanting more. Um, it's like this person, it's like they have to seek out others, okay? Um, with this Eight of Cups, there's an energy of somebody always walking away or leaving. Um, and when the Eight of Cups, you're leaving all these cups, Cancer. So this is not just walking away from, you know, something that's dead and gone. This is like an active, full-fledged relationship, okay? And with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups, it's like somebody is, you know, basically going to find, have fun and, you know, with friends and other people and constantly walking out on the connection. Hmm. Underneath the deck with the Queen of Wands, Cancer, I feel like there's this third party energy and your person is not telling you this is the reason why they keep leaving the connection. This is the reason why with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups, they're never satisfied and always looking for some other third cup to come and fulfill their needs here, Cancer, leaving you feeling very emotionally overwhelmed. So that's that energy. Moving on to Capricorn at 2728. Look up the angel number 2728. Cancer's dealing with a Capricorn. Tell us about Cancer and Capricorn, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about Cancer dealing with a Capricorn. What is this Capricorn not telling you, Cancer? Okay. Tell us what Capricorn is not telling Cancer. Okay, so we got the Ten of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Hierophant, Cancer. Okay, all right. So Cancer, this Capricorn right here, and this is strong Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and the Strength card, Cancer. I feel like with the Hierophant, this person is very committed to you. With the Strength card, this person is ultimately going to do right by you no matter what, Cancer. The Ten of Pentacles, this represents a very strong, solid foundation. Um, this person is not going anywhere, Cancer. Eight of Pentacles underneath the deck. I mean, you got all Pentacles here, Cancer. Eighteen Pentacles. Um, this person is working really hard um, on themselves right now, Cancer. They may not be telling you this, but they are working really hard on themselves so that they could be a better person for this commitment. And with the Ten of Pentacles, I see the both of you having a lot of happiness and a lot of money, Cancer. <laughs> Very beautiful for Cancer and Capricorn. Beautiful, beautiful. Moving on to Aries at 2919 2919 Cancer dealing with an Aries Holy Spirit angels and guides tell us about Cancer and Aries please that was the Queen of Cups Holy Spirit angels and guides tell me about Cancer and Aries please what is this Aries not telling Cancer Okay, wow. So, we got all that. So, we got 
the strength card in the reverse with the six of swords and the devil uh oh strength card in the reverse with the six of swords and the devil cancer somebody is trying their best they are trying their best to get away from a very toxic energy here strength card in the reverse this is an energy of somebody who is um very very low vibrational this is somebody who is just low confidence a very weak-minded individual they fall into temptation very easily with that devil energy here cancer and the strength card in the reverse this person is always giving into their lower vibrational side six of swords cancer there's an energy of getting away from something very very quickly having the need to just kind of like leave quickly to protect yourself um, with the six of cups here and the ace of swords there's an energy of somebody coming in and speaking a truth okay about somebody from the past um, maybe this person is going to come in and be honest about um, something they did with an ex okay so this person could be coming in and being honest about this but they're not saying it now um, but I do see some honest communication coming in, okay? Um, and this could be from the ex or from the person um, in the past, okay? Maybe your person is not telling you the truth, but somebody is going to. Moving on to Sag 3142. Okay. Sagittarius. So Cancer's dealing with a Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer dealing with Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer dealing with a Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer and Sagittarius, please. Okay. Ooh, strength card is in full effect tonight, Cancer, and it won't even come out. That's okay. We'll go get it. It doesn't want to come out. Holy Spirit, okay. It's like, wow, this person wants to do the right thing, but it's like they're having a hard time just doing what's right, Cancer. So we got the Four of Cups, the strength card, and the lovers here. A strong soul tie connection, Cancer. I see two people here um, that have a lot of love for each other. Um, with the Four of Cups, however, and the Strength card here, there is a disconnect. There is someone who is getting a little bored, Cancer. With the Strength card, though, this person does want to do the right thing. They are trying to do what's right here, Cancer, but there is some temptation. And this person is not telling you. The lovers represents Adam, Eve, and the snake. So something is tempting this person, this connection, because they are growing a little bored, Cancer. Ace of Cups under the deck. This talks about something new. Some new, new, Cancer. And with the Nine of Pentacles, this is a single, somebody single, independent you know manifesting all around your person so beware of this energy because your person is not saying anything about this okay that's what this is about what is your person not telling you cancer not what is your person confessing okay uh, moving on to leo i don't mean to be harsh but cancer there's an energy of truth and needing to accept it Okay, in this reading, it's coming out very strongly here. And we're getting four, 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 this entire reading. I feel like you really need to, really need to uh, be focused on what's in front of you, Cancer. Fixate it, concentrate on what is right in front of you. Okay, tell us about Cancers dealing with a Leo, please. What is this Leo not saying to their cancer, please? 
Holy Spirit. Okay, alrighty. So we got the Five of Swords and the Emperor and the Ace of Swords, Cancer. Six Swords and the Emperor here. <sighs> Cancer, I feel like there's an energy of somebody who is, um, you could be married to this person, this Leo, um, but I feel like there's an energy of this person who is, um, there's some sort of conflict here, Cancer. Um, the Ace of Swords represents someone, um, communicating, uh, or coming in with the truth. Okay. Um, this is six swords. This also represents someone who is leaving something behind and someone could be, uh, ready to walk away, um, or separate from this, uh, commitment here from this marriage. Okay. Um, the emperor, again, this just represents someone who is, uh, couldn't represent a married person. Okay, let's see. Under the deck, three of cups. My hands are itching like crazy right now. Like crazy right now. This talks about friends, cancer, and family. Or just somebody who just wants to be single, wants to go out and have fun, mingle, be single. You know, I don't know. I feel like this Leo just wants to be on their own, Cancer, and they're not saying this to you. With the Page of Pentacles here in the background, I feel like this person is making plans on leaving, but they're not telling you. All right, Cancer, that marks the end of Cancer versus All 12. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go get something to drink. My throat is very dry. Take care of each other, you guys. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys back here soon. Bye.